How's it going everyone? My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. Today I'm going to show you how you can remove blemishes from your photo like this before photo to this after photo. And it's super easy. The only two tools you'll be using today are the spot healing brush and the clone stamp tool. If these two tools aren't showing up, all you have to do is click and hold on these selections and it should be one of these options here below. So I'm going to just start with the spot healing brush. And all you have to do is hover over your selection and just click on what you want to remove. I recommend using a circle that's just slightly bigger than what you're trying to remove. <clears throat> and I also recommend using a hardness that's not 100%. Right now I'm using 75, which I find works pretty well. So I'm going to continue this process over as much as I can. And I'll get back to you right when I'm done. Alright, so I removed the majority of the blemishes. So here is where the clone stamp tool will come in. It's for the more finer selections. It's pretty much the same tool as the spot healing brush, except we need to select which texture we want to apply over our selection. And by doing that, I'm on Mac, so I'm going to hold Options. I believe that's Alt on PC. So I'm just going to scale down my selection roughly to the size of the blemish I'm trying to remove. And now I'm going to select right behind here with options and I'm going to select this portion of here. And now as you see, it just drags it right along. And I click there and that looks good to me. Perfect. Now, same for these little blemishes here. I'm going to select hair just right beside the blemish. And just some skin in there as well and I'll just copy that process for here just adjusting the, the skin color around there all right perfect now that is looking pretty good there are some red spots just around the cheek here as you can see in my my after photo I did do some more touch-ups for the skin textures so yeah this is where you'd want to use the clone stamp tool you could use the spot healing brush but again, it, it sometimes leaves really weird, blurry textures, which look unnatural if you if you do that for the entire cheek. See, so yeah, I'll just select some skin, some skin tones that I would want to use. I'm trying to grab some textures from around the cheek, not in the same area. I don't want it to look like a pattern. We want it to look as natural as possible. So yeah, it is a very tedious process, but it's a very easy process at that. So yeah, you'd want to copy that process for the entire cheek, and then it will look something like that. So yeah, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.